Today's video is going to be about inversions and the inversion number. So we're going to be starting with a particular permutation. Let's make it in S5. And I don't know, let's make it something like this particular permutation. Um, and what we want to do is we want to notice that while the, first, the top row is in order, the bottom row is not in order. In particular, 2 is bigger than 1, and 5 is bigger than 4, and 4 is bigger than 3. And what we really want to do is we want to be able to track how many times we run into things that are disordered. Well, so the first thing is I want to define something called an inversion. An inversion is just a pair of i less than j with with alpha of i bigger than alpha of j. So the top row has the two numbers in order and the bottom row has the two numbers in the wrong order. Uh, and, and the inversion number for a particular permutation is just the number of inversions in alpha. And I would suggest that you stop the video and copy this stuff down into your notes because what I want to do is continue to focus in on this particular permutation and count the number of inversions. In fact, you should try and do that yourself and then after you've tried to do that, start the video again and find out uh, if you're right. So we erase, we erase, we erase. And once we have everything erased, I want to also make that eraser small again, uh, we're going to start with the counting the inversions in this particular permutation. So count the inversions. And we're going to count them by actually listing them. So we're going to start with this 2. And we're going to notice that because 2 is less than all of those numbers, none of them are inversions. But 2 is bigger than 1, and hence 2, 1 is our first inversion. Now, uh, we are now going to basically be looking at... Um, this particular one, and he's less than all of those, so there aren't any additional inversions there. And then, of course, we're going to move on to uh, looking at the 5, and 5 is bigger than both 4 and 3, and so 5, 4, and 5, 3 are inversions. And uh, finally, so, so now we move on to the 4, and of course, 4 and 3 is in the wrong order, so 4 and 3 is also an inversion. So this particular permutation has four inversions, and hence its inversion number is equal to 4. Now, what I want to deal with is uh, a couple of basic facts. If we look at the identity permutation in any SN, it sends everybody to himself, so the top row and the bottom row both look exactly alike, and they both look like the list 1, 2, 3, all the way up to N, and so none of the numbers are out of order, And what that means is that there are no inversions. And that says that the inversion number, the inversion number of E is equal to zero. Now, we're, and, and if we go back to our previous slide, uh, we already said that the inversion number of that guy was equal to four. Well, what I want to do next is uh, come up with a very basic uh, definition based on this idea of an inversion number, and we're going to define we're going to define something called even and odd permutations 
in terms of their inversion numbers. If the inversion number is even, we call alpha an even permutation. And if the inversion number is odd, we call alpha an odd permutation. And one thing that we can realize right away is that uh, E is obviously an even permutation. Well, I want to end with looking at the, inver the inversion number of a particular cycle. So let's just look at that for just a minute. Let's let, actually I want to do for just a transposition. Let's let alpha be something like 1 goes to 3 inside S5. So alpha's two-row notation would look like this. And when we look at the inversion numbers, uh, we realize that there's an inversion uh, with 3 uh, being before 2, and we also get an inversion with 3 being before 1. But uh, 3 is less than 4, and 3 is less than 5, so those are the only inversions involving that 3. When we start looking at the 2, well, 2 is bigger than 1, so we get an inversion with 2 is bigger than 1, but 2 is less than 4 and 5, so those are not going to trigger any more inversions. And then it's important to realize that these last three numbers are in order, so there are no inversions there, and as a consequence, the inversion number for alpha equal 1 goes to 3 and 3 goes to 1 is 3, so alpha is an odd permutation. Even though it's a 2 cycle as a permutation, it is an odd permutation.